Hello everybody, my name is Brahmin Lord, and welcome to Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. This game came out originally on, I believe, yeah, the Wii U. <laughs> Not, I believe. It came out on the Wii U, I want to say in 2014. And back then, I did not get it, I did not play it, but oh my god, I heard so many great things about it. And when I finally got this game on the Switch, when it came out, well actually, I got it this year, I want to say, in like January? But it originally came out on the Switch last year, I believe. And I'm going to shut up for a second. And that is the opening cutscene of the game. Oh god, I I love that opening cutscene. It's just so good. And I love, I especially love Donkey Kong's reaction, just to the snowflake that comes in, just flies through the window, lands on the candle. It's just so good. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm playing this game again. It feels like I just completed it, but it doesn't feel like you know. Sometimes you'll complete a game. And then you'll be like, hey, I want to play this game again, even though I just completed it. <laughs> and then you start playing it, and you're like, on second thought, no, I don't. It's not like that with this game for me. I can just keep playing this game forever, it seems. Because <laughs> it's just, it's really good. Like, I started playing it again immediately after beating it on funky mode. And the only reason I stopped playing is because I just didn't want to play as funky. It didn't feel right. It felt like I was cheating the system. Which, in a way, I guess it kind of was. But, I mean, they let us do it. So it's really not that big of a deal. Or at least it shouldn't be. And yet, in my mind, I'm just like, no, I can't do that. It's cheating. I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't be playing funky. Oh, God. Thank you. Um, but yeah, this game, Donkey Kong games in general, kind of have a special place for me. I've always loved them ever since I was a kid, you know, I started with the original Donkey Kong Country, and, um, 
whatever the second and third games were called, I think my favorite was the third game because it just, it looked the best, you know, and in a way, I guess it kind of played the best. Oh, jeez. I want those. But this game, you know, I picked it up and I'm, and almost instantly I'm like, I don't know if this is a good choice. Because I was, oh shit. Because I was so afraid. Like, I started playing it and I'm like, wow, these graphics are almost too modern, it feels, for this series. And the more and more I played it, the more I'm like, okay, you know what? It works. I like it. But at first, I hated it. I actually hated these graphics. Despite the fact that they're gorgeous. Oh my god. Th this, this game does so many things right, from level design, to music, to just, like, underwater levels especially. Like, this is how you do underwater in a 2D platformer. I'm just saying that, and I know everyone says it. And we say it because this game is just phenomenal. It does so much right. There are a couple things that I don't like. <laughs> But we'll get to those when we get to those. How do I get that? I don't remember. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. Oh, my God. I'm a dumb. I'm a dumb. Can I just... Can you please get up there? Ah. Oh. All right. I'll be smart about this. I'll take this guy. Oh, no. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm kind of just playing on autopilot almost, it seems. That's because I've played this game before and... Oh my god, it's just it's so good. I'm sorry, I just I can't stop gushing over it because it's just I love this game. This is one of my favorite games. The music, especially from the Donkey Kong Country games, is just it's one of my favorite things. I'm a sucker for music in games. And this series just has some of the best of all time in my opinion. Oh god. Like, I was, I was gonna say Grant Kirkhope, but Grant Kirkhope did not write this music. Uh, David Wise is the composer for most of Donkey Kong Country games. And I just love how much love and care he puts into his music. Like, listen to this. It's just, it's amazing. It's so good. How can you hate this? To be fair, actually. Once again, I didn't like this theme when I first heard it, but it's grown on me. There are... Can I get that, please? Thank you. There are certain other music tracks in this game, though, that I love far more. Like, this is nothing compared to some of the later levels. Oh, jeez. Oh, god. Okay. We cannot do that. That'd be great. No, no, no. There we go. Just want, I just want the banana coin. Thank you. Oh, jeez. So many boxers. Want all them boxes. What was I saying? I was saying something real important. I should write stuff down, maybe. <laughs> so they don't forget what I'm talking about. I hate that about myself. I'm just like, I start talking about something, and then I'm like, oh, I got distracted. What was I saying? <laughs> eh, but you know, it happens to everyone sometimes. Ooh, I forgot there's something down here. Oh, right, the music. Durr. Um, there's this one song called Sticker Bush. Sticker Bush? Sticker Bush? I think is how it's pronounced. Um, it would make the most sense. Sticker Bush Symphony. That's been in this Donkey Kong game. Donkey Kong game? Donkey Kong game. Uh, I think since either the first or the second game. The fir first or second Donkey Kong Country game. I want that, thank you. Ah, oh, that ladder. And I think it's my favorite Donkey Kong theme of all time. But the, the, the problem I have with it, at least in this game, it's there for two seconds. Like, it, it's literally there at the start of the level. And then you get like a few millimeters, it feels, into level, and suddenly it changes. You'll, you'll see why whenever the hell we get to it, but I, I hate that. I hate that. It's such a good theme. And they just completely said, no, screw the theme everyone loves. You don't need to hear that masterpiece. 
And as far as I know, it doesn't appear ever again in this game. That's just sad. There's another one I really like. Um, I want to say it's in World 3. I don't remember the name of the level, or the song, for that matter. But it it's so good. Like, it just captures the atmosphere so perfectly. And that's... Basically, that's what I love so much about the music in this game, is it just captures everything beautifully. It, it, I, I can't stop talking about how perfect just everything is in this game. And it's it, it's also partially why I don't really like the 2D Mario games. Blasphemous, I know. But the 2D Mario games, to me, are just... They're boring. They're incredibly boring to me. I don't feel immersed or anything by those games. Like, the original 2D Mario game, Super Mario Brothers, was good. And I could play that one, and I can enjoy it. And of course there's Mario 2 and Mario 3, and those are, oh no, those are also really good. But the problem I have with the 2D Mario games nowadays is, one, they basically all have the same name. If you've played one of them, you've played them all. If you've played the DS game, which was the original new Super Mario Brothers, which Nintendo, by the way, why the hell do you keep adding new to things? Come on. If you make the new Nintendo Switch, I'm gonna be angry. Give it a good name. Come on. Um, but no, sorry for my tangent there. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh my god. I am so bad about this. What was I talking about? It'll come to me in a second. Just give me a sec. Um. Oh, I want that. So bad. Oh no. Oh god. But no, okay. The music in the new Super Mario Brothers game is god awful to me. Like, it just feels so uninspired and just samey in every level. Sure, it was kind of samey in the older Mario games, too. Like, you could very clearly tell it was just kind of the same track with um, minor differences in every you know, world and whatnot. But it still felt better. It had more meaning behind it. Whereas in the new Super Mario Brothers games, it's just kind of the same over and over. It doesn't feel any different in any of the levels, and you just get real tired of it real quick. Or at least I do. I don't know. Maybe you really like it. And if you do, awesome. But personally, I can't stand it. I get bored with it, and it just, it honestly kind of drives me nuts listening to it. Which is why whenever I get Super Mario Maker 2, I will not be making any levels, if I ever make any levels, because, God, from the first game, I was terrible at making levels. I just, I was awful at it. But I will not ever make a single level in the, in the, in the new Super Mario Bros. style. I will almost always probably go with the Mario 3 style, just because it's my favorite. That or the 3D World style. That, that one's not too bad. I think there's something over here. Is there? By the way, I should mention, this is not going to be a 100% playthrough. I know I'm getting a lot of stuff early on. Um, I didn't, I don't think I 100% of the first world, or the first level, rather. But I'm not going to do this kind of thing where I just, like, actively go for every puzzle piece in the game. I am going to try and go for all the Kong letters. But I'm not entirely sure how that's going to go later down the line. I'm also not sure if I'll ever be able to complete all of the bonus levels in this game. Because when I played them my first time around, it was rage inducing. And when I say rage inducing, I mean I was livid. I was ragey as all hell. And I still love the levels, and I still love this game. But at the same time, man, I hate those levels with a passion. At least most of them. There are a couple of that I actually kind of like that are actually pretty fun, even though they're hard as hell. But the majority of them, 
it kind of felt unfair to me, but that just, that might be because I'm just not great at the game. And if that's the case, yeah, alright, fair enough. <laughs> so yeah, I will be trying to get all the Kong letters, but I have no guarantees, especially down the line, because I don't want to spend too long on every level. What I might wind up doing is, if I miss letters on a super hard level, then I'll just wind up getting them off screen. Because I would like to at least showcase all or most of the bonus levels in the game. Just because of how good they are. Even if I can't complete them. Which, I kind of feel like I won't be able to complete all of them on recording. Because, as we all know, if, if you're recording and talking at the same time, you tend to be worse at the game. Although, for me... At least in Smash. It seems to be the opposite. I don't know why that is. It's really kind of amazing. Oh god. Not only that, but I've been, I really have. I've just been playing this game completely on autopilot. It makes me happy. It makes me happy that I'm able to do that. How do I get through there? Hold A. Thank you, game. I actually couldn't remember that. That's really helpful. I didn't know it. Just put that tip up there. See, this game just does so much right. It's like, oh, they're struggling to, you know, do something intelligent? Well, here, let's help them. <laughs> let's help them to use a bit of a brain. Uh-oh. Crap. Sorry, bonus thing. Or secret exit. I need to go finish the level the normal way first, because I really need- oh my. I really want to get all the Kong letters so I don't have to do this level all the way through again. Whoop. Well, actually, I guess it wouldn't technically matter all that much. Oh no. Oh, please let me up there, thank you. Oh wait, oh god. There we go. Okay, got the Kong letters. Now I'm gonna- oh my. That's- uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. I might have just screwed myself. Oh god, this is awful. I may have just screwed myself from the bonus exit. Or secret exit, whatever you want to call it. Oh, Sharky Doo, no no! Wait, what the hell? I legitimately didn't know there was a puzzle piece there. Oh, that's not good. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna die. I'm just, I'm just gonna die. Oh, please, for the love of God, give me a Dixie Barrel. Oh, thank you. I, I forgot this was here. Okay. Now, okay. Now I'm gonna not suck. That's, that's not what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna not suck. Just gonna focus real hard. Do some big brain energy. Oh my god. I'm not gonna get hit. I'm gonna get that puzzle piece, hell yeah. I'm gonna get my G, there we go. Hell yeah. Oh god! Well. Butts in Paris. Oh my god. In the future, when stuff like this happens, I'm going to try and actually cut stuff if it's happening too much. But if I screw up once or twice, like this, because I... I'm gonna eat my words in a second. If I... I don't think I'll... I don't think I'll lose that again. If I do, I'll cut. And you will... You will see my intense rage. It will be beautiful. Possibly. Probably not. It'll probably make people cry. I'm sorry if it make, if my rage makes you cry. But we all rage sometimes. Especially against the machine. Whoop. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, see, I didn't skirt up again. I can just... Can I please... Yes, I know. Thank you, game. Is it Rage, the, rage Against the Machine a band? I legitimately don't know, just because I I can't remember 
certain band names. I'm pretty sure it is. I could be wrong about that, though. <laughs> like, the only reason I don't know is probably because if they are, I don't listen to them. Oop. Oh, hell yeah. Yee. Yeah. Wonderful. What time are we at? Yeah, I'll do one more level. Actually, no, I don't want the video to be too long. Oh god, so we got through level 1 and level 2, got all the Kong letters in both. Hell yes. I got the bonus exit right there, meaning I will actually have to do... Actually, no. Will I have to do the... Will I have to do this level off screen again? Or will this take me up there? I think it will take me up there, so I will just do that next episode. And right here... Oh, duh. This is the shop. <laughs> So thank you everyone so much for watching, and in the next episode we will tackle level 1A as well as level 1-3, I think? Possibly more, depending on how things go. Thank you everyone, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!